Now listen, listen. First matchup, LNG versus Weibo. Let's do a couple, guys. Let's do a couple. First one is going to be the heart. No, it's first one's brain, then second heart. How about that? How about that? Okay. What do you mean Cam is going schizo? How? You just bait me or what? Okay, anyway. Listen to the RuneScape music in the back that no one else will get. Anyway, listen, 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 listen. LNG versus Weibo. Now, logically, Scout is playing a tournament of his life. It's insane. However, however, I think the spunk is there. But logically, you think Zik is playing great. Scout's playing great. The formula's working. Gala's really solid. There's no more to spare. That, to me, seems easy. I think this is not one of the hardest matchups. I think this is mega easy, right? Mega, mega easy. Yeah, you were trolling me on the cam. I don't know why. Mega easy. Lane should outperform. I think this team's too inconsistent. And I think closing out games is a lot easier for LNG. They showed as well they can play from behind. Like, they're not one-dimensional like we thought. So, I'm, I'm going to say I'm gonna say LNG with ease. This is, I think, the second easiest matchup to predict. Let's go to the other easiest matchup to predict, everyone. It's Gen G over FlyQuest. Come on. Like, what in what world does FlyQuest beat Gen G? They're the best team at this tournament so far. They're the two easiest ones, I think, to predict. Because the other two are fucking hard. Anyone who tells you that top esports over T1 is hard to predict, as in, like, either side, is has not watched top esports and has not watched T1. T1 ramped up in the tournament. Top esports are also very good. Like... Top esports are really good. Tien's playing well. Cream's had some great moments. 369's team fighting and TP positioning is, is just as good as we said it would be. The bot lane's ramping up. But then Owner's playing out of his freaking mind. Faker had an insane game or two. Like, Faker's having great games again. Zayas is playing decently. The bot's kind of back. Like, carry, like bro, this is one of the hardest ones to predict. Because I think in this... I think, you know, what's said in chat, right? Aglan says top, this one's harder to predict. I think the reason is because Humble Life and BLG, you're like, this team is not performing, and you do this. My brain right now says Humble Life will do it. They'll, they'll outhands them. Yes, Bin Elk, but this team fires on more cylinders. This team, Zek is out of his mind. You've got Mr. Freenut, right? And I think Freenut clears the jungle situation at the moment. I think Elk, Elk in this bot lane, like... Okay, Elk and On, I, I'm not sure about On in this tournament. I'm really not. I think this is easy to predict. You just think all hands are going to perform better, no? That's what I would think. Like, let's open Leaguepedia. Let's open Leaguepedia. Because I like having the names in a in a head-to-head -head fashion. It makes it so much easier to predict. It makes it so much easier to predict. Where are we? Main event. Right? Now... Mega easy to predict when you open up. Sorry, what are we doing? Um, my ADHD at a max level. No, what am I doing? Brain. Look, right? I would say Bin over Doran. I would say Peanut over Wei or Shun. Either, either. I'd say Zekra over Knight right now. But Knight, I mean, Knight's still, Knight's still fucking goaded. But Zek is just having a, an insane tournament again. Viper and Delight. Bro, Delight has been gnarly. Viper's clinical. I would put Delight over on, and that's three out of five positions. Jungle, mid, and support over BLG. And even then, the other carry roles, like the only one that's a clear favorite for me is Bin over Doran. Viper and Elk, to me, feel like this. You think Elk clears? It's like, yeah, but maybe a bit, but it doesn't matter. Majority wins. I'm not even sure about that statement. I, I think... I think Viper's carry potential and fights has been so good. He's kind of like Elk. Elk had a really good last fight, right? Elk fucking on that Ezreal fight, insane. Viper is just consistently insane, though. I, I mean, I think majority rules on this one, right? I think majority rules. I would do Humble Life and, you know, it's sad, but, like, I, I think it's Humble Life over BLG. I, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's the same. I, I think Hummer Life clears BLG in current form. BLG are ramping up. That's why it's hard. But that's just brain at the moment, right? This brain. We're going to do two versions. And I'll tell you what I lock in. 
Top esports T1 is hard. Now let's do the roll by roll again because that's hard. Zayas may be over 369, but 369 team fighting, I prefer over Zayas. Tien over Ona. Tien's playing good, but Ona is just in that. Ona's in that arc chat. Ona's in that arc again, isn't he? He's in that arc where he's just like, I enter an international and the fucking doubters are about to get the Vi glove. Fake is creeping up, isn't he? He's just coming back. The Silas game was sick. He's at, I think it was the Ari game. Was that the clean game? Uh, you're going to have to quote me if I'm wrong. And then we've got Goomer and Kerry versus Shaky Love and Mako. That's why this is so hard. I think bottom lane. Oh, Tien over Ona right now? I don't know about that. I think Ona's Vi game was insane. It was the Vi game, wasn't it? It was. I'm pretty sure it was the Vi game. Wait, I can use the Lamont website, can't I? I can use the Lamont website. Wow, this is a quick website. Holy crap. Okay. <clears throat> Yo, DPM lol clears and I'm not sponsored. Was it this last game? It's all his Vi games have been clean. Like the one versus G2, the 40 minute, I mean, is such a pain. The one versus BLG. DPM.Lamont. Yo. So, listen to me. Listen to me. Owner, I think, is in better form. I, I just think that's per... Like, is it bias? No, because if I wanted to be biased, I'd say Tien's in better form. Just because. I'd just say Tien, you know? I'd just say Tien. Like, the Xin Zhao game was really fucking clean. Dude, the, this Sedge game was really good. 100% kill participation day one, by the way. Versus T1. They've faced before. But T1 have ramped up in the tournament where Top Esports, I think, came out of the gates rolling strong and have kind of stayed around that level. So, my question to you, chat, is, is it brain to say T1? I think yes. I think right now, this is my brain. This is like... I think T1 have ramped up and are only going to get better using my intellect or what five brain cells I can muster. On the other side, I think top esports, you could argue the point. I think this is where I would lock in my pickums for brain. Yo, the, the camera. You weren't wrong. Yo, the camera. Wait. Yo. Imagine being someone on YouTube who has to just sit here because I didn't edit the video and you're just listening to me talk right now and going, yo, why didn't he edit this bit out? Good question, chatter. Guess what? Lazy. Now, you were telling me, you know what? You know what? Now listen, everyone at home. Everyone at home, this is not where I'm locking in. I am going to go with my heart. I'm sick of doing logic. I'm going to go with my heart. My heart says Weibo has a glow up. My heart says that LNG had a good time in the, in the playing stage, but my, my heart says Weibo are just going to fucking win. Okay? You're all putting your predictions in chat. I'm just telling you, this is where my heart is. I think Weibo has this weird glow up. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Breathe is playing so much better than he was domestically. Tarzan is playing his picks and they can formulate it with a strong top. They could do it with the Shy. The Shy was a great top laner. They played like Weiwei, played to him like a dog, but Tarzan can play his own game. And Breathe can actually play versatile weak side, strong side of the map. Plus, Xiaohu's in a good meta right now. Xiaohu can play mages, Xiao can play setup, Xiao can play things like the Yone as well. I only get worried if we start seeing Shone on things like it, Yone, sorry, Xiaohu or Yone is Shone. If like Akali, we start seeing things that aren't supportive picks. I want to see more Galio. I think the bot lane maybe hasn't been performing as we expected them after domestically, but I think it's going to change. I'm, I'm just telling you guys, this is love. It's going to be Weibo. Tap, tap, motherfucker. Now, that's my heart. BOG is my heart. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to the LCK fans. I truly think this matchup is 75-25 with BOG's current performance. But Ben and Elk have been performing out of their mind and their back. Okay? I am naturally going to say over humble life, yes. Of course I am. 
Because even though Hum Alive, I think, are the better team on paper, I think BLG is like that team of upset, especially this year. Like, the individual skill from Elk and Bin during the G2 series was uh, remarkable. It was undeniable. This is an insane matchup. It's going to be good either way, but I think BLG can win it with the heart. Now, listen to me. I think the head wants T1. Because T1, again, is just crazy how they've ramped up. But my heart, and like my pick'em said, right? Like my pick'em say, if you look here, if you all sit down and look here, hmm, Tien, it's going to be a power. If they win this, it's going to be the power of Tien. It's going to be Cream matching Faker. And more importantly, it's going to be 369 having better laning phases. I mean, if he plays Cassante, 369 just needs to play Cassante. He needs to play role playing tops, weak side tops. Jackie Love Mako, please bring back your domestic talent. Okay. Tien in Paris. Good one. Good one. Tien back in Paris. Then, nothing changes down here. I'm just telling you, I think T1 are going to, like, T1 should be favored. 55 to 45. But top esports, there's just something magical about this team this year. And I think if Tien's performing well, when you have Cream, who's ramped up as a mid laner, has now become one of the top tier in LPL. When you have 369, who's such a fundamentally built. Do you guys remember? I said this in another video. Chat, listen, listen. When have I ever talked 369 down? There's so many of you who hate 369. But 369 in JDG was the reason that they made it. Okay? It was as I scammed Kadra once, fucking followed. That the reason 369 did so much for JDG is because he's a building block. He's a great team fighter. He plays a well around multiple moving parts and he can play weak side well. 369 is not just a good laner most of the time when he, outside of this year, I think this year has been a bit up and down. But like, he can go even in matchups that he shouldn't. He can optimize matchups that he shouldn't. He roams mid at level three on a Gragas. And you're like, what the hell is he doing here? He's unexpected. He's unbelievable at his midpoints and he's undefeatable at his peak. I think top esports, if the bottom lane gets gathers in chain as well, that's a win. That's not changing. Heart, head, Gen G are just brilliant to watch. There is no way that FlyQuest win. I think three LPL with my heart. I think with my head and my heart, Gen G. FlyQuest is not winning this series. I'm telling you that. FlyQuest is not winning this series. If FlyQuest wins this series, I think Gen G... I'm not shaving my head if FlyQuest win. Stop trying to make me go bold. So to recount, the head says LNG, the heart says Weibo. The head says HLE, the heart says BLG. The head says, the head is kind of mixed on this one, but I think T1 with the ramp up. So T1 fans, don't get upset. Listen to me. I think you guys will probably win. I'd even put it to 60% chance. But there's just something magical about top esports. They got the mojo, as Munchwills would call it. Gen G, heart and head. That's my quarterfinals pickems. I think if we're doing another bracket, let's say it happened like this. Like, bro. I mean, I think Gen G get the finals regardless, and I think it could be like a BLG finals. I think Gen G are winning this year. I think Gen G are winning this year. I think their greatest threat, if this happens like I say it would be, is either Humble Life winning, right? Or top esports. In semis. All right. Yo, that's my pickums. The heart. Sorry, I pointed to the head. The heart over the head. Chat, that's what you got to go with. That's what you got to go with. I'm sick of picking based on my brain, so I'm going to throw this into the works. That means there would be a guaranteed LPL team in finals.